This is Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com. I need to warn you, the video you are about to watch has been rated IC60 plus for interactive content in excess of 60 minutes. If you are not emotionally prepared for all the high hellos that are about to come and a full hour, a full hour of distractions, Weight Watchers or WW ideas and friendly content, hit stop now. I repeat, this is your only warning. Do not proceed further if you are not ready. But if you're like me and you like to make new friends on your weight loss journey, this is the video for you. We will be saying hi, hello, as this was filmed live. And if you ever get a chance to join us on Sunday nights, it's just over on the Facebook page, If You Have an Egg, A Weight Watcher's Journey, although I guess now we need to change it to a WW journey. Um, but we would love to see you live over there so that we can say hi and hello. And if you're new, please do give us a shout out. Let us know that you're new and where you're from so that we can all greet you. Also pay attention, um, running across the bottom right now, right now is some important information that you need for how to join us in other um, social media areas, how to get this free, how to watch this on demand, and how to make sure that you are always notified when we have a new chat come up. And more importantly, read, 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 read across the bottom. Right now, our affiliate links, which include discounts, are scrolling across the bottom of the screen. Check those out. We get some great deals for the Egg Lady and for the Egglets. I hope you enjoy the at least 60 minutes of free weight loss journey content and that you will subscribe so that you can always be notified when we're coming up and that you can you will share with another um, weight loss journey buddy, a WW member um, who needs some help and so we can help each other along this journey. So thanks again and I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know, please comment below. Hope to see you Sunday. Hey, it's Kelly with if you have an egg.com. Happy Sunday, everybody. Yeah, it's time for WW or Weight Watchers chat wellness workshop number 101, 101. Yeah, last week we had crazy fun with um, number 100. Yeah, and congratulations to our big winner, DJ, DJ Busta Move. She won all the fabulous prizes. So yeah, congratulations again to DJ. But today is Sunday, December the 9th, and it is time for WW or Weight Watchers Wellness Workshop number 101. Yeah, and hey Betty, yes it is cold. Okay. So the reason for the, hello Carolou, so the reason for the um, yeah, head accoutrement is because, um, hello Asma, here in Knoxville, it has snowed or rained all day long today. When I took John, hello Michelle, when I took John to the airport this morning, I'm not kidding you, the snowflakes were this big. And if Barbara's already here, she can attest to that. Hello, Sandra from Dingman's Ferry. Hello, Sylvia. So yeah, so you all, um, and hello, Sylvia from Oklahoma, from Oklahoma. Whoop, two back-to-back -back Sylvias. Hello, Sylvia, and hello, Sylvia from Oklahoma. Hello, Rosie, and hello, Sanders. So y'all, y'all are getting the snow bunny hair because um, my hair's been wet all day long, all day long. Hey, Joyce, um, and hello, Heather. It's good to see you, Heather, um, and hello, Roberta. So yeah, the snowflakes this morning, though, were that big. I mean, they were huge. So I was driving John to the airport. Hello, Pam, and hello, um, Liz. But I was driving John to the airport, and I kept thinking, oh my goodness, you know, am I gonna make it back okay? Because it was, yeah, the snow was coming down super, super, super fast. And hello, Marianne, and hello, Debbie. Debbie, we'll see you next week. We will be there with you next week. Hello, Rosie, and hello, Jen. So next week, hello, Tag, it's gonna be super exciting. Um, we leave, oh, aloha, Kathy. Yeah, no snow in Hawaii, I'm assuming, and hello, Carla. So next week, we will be in Florida. Hello, Jennifer, um, in Virginia, and yes, it, is, it should be snowing. Yeah, it should be snowing because we were sending it that way, and hello, Mary from Wisconsin, and hello, Evie. So we, um, yeah, I already had the big giant snowflakes this morning, and hello, Marlene, and yes, Be oh, Betty, it's rained for two days. Oh, goodness, and hello, Stacy. And I am looking out the window now, um, anxiously awaiting the next round of snow, um, and Jen says, no snow in Boston. Hey, Sherry. I know, yeah, and yeah, Debbie says seven days. I know, seven days, seven days. So, Tedders, um, oh, and Casey said Alyssa is laughing and smiling at Nona. Hello, Lilybug. Hello, Stinker. Hey, hello, Kathy. So, <coughs> in seven days, and Jenna says hello from snowy North Carolina. It is snowing, I know. So, I'll put John on a plane. Hello, Kim. 
to um, Detroit, hello Tina, and, and hey Sandy, and there's no snow. There is no snow in Detroit. So, you know, I don't know, it's crazy. Yeah, and Tony says there's eight inches in Virginia, and hello Vicki. So if this is your first time with us, this is a live chat. Hello Betty, and hello Lisa. And I'll be saying hi, hello to a bunch of people when they first come on, and we'll be chatting some. And so if you want to skip that part, um, yeah, and Sandra, we'll talk about that in just a second. Yeah, but if you want to skip the hi, hello part, go to about 10 minutes because that's when, that's, you know, pretty much when it winds down. <coughs> okay, and I hope that this is not going to be a common theme tonight. So Alyssa has given us all the crud. Um, and yeah, sadly, I'm getting choked. So hello, and Barbara from the crossroad. How big was the snow out there today? It was this big downtown, this big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was huge. Yeah, and Carla says no snow in Ohio. Anyway, it was a weird, it's a weird, weird, weird band of weather. But if you're um, here with us live, hey, hello. And if you're not watching this with us live, if you're watching this later on YouTube, it's just youtube.com, search if you have an egg, um, or it's under Kelly Milligan, or if you watch it later um, here on Facebook, or if you watch it later on um, from the blog, if you have an egg.com, if you don't want to watch the hi hellos, just skip on over to about 10 minutes. There's no reason to let me know. Just skip. Whichever way this is, just skip on over. And hello, Marie. But if you like to say hi, hello, we love to say hi, hello. And yeah, Pam, Pam uh, Palma says she loves my headband. And hello, Popsicle. So I feel like I should be skiing. Yeah, hello, Darlene. I feel like I should be on the slopes, but I don't snow ski. So I'm a great spectator. But my, and hello, Renee, my hair has been wet all day long. All day long. So, Casey, I decided to sport the um, head, one of the headbands that you made me. Hello, Sandy. And, um, yeah, Barbara said she had five minutes um, of the big snowflakes. No, we had, like, two inches of the big snowflakes. Hello, Donna, and hello, Lisa. Yeah. Oh, no, and Pam says, no snow in Minnesota. Yeah, like, Minnesota. Hey, yeah. Yeah, you betcha. Sure. Um, but anyway, so, sorry. You get the snow hair today, which apparently is making me also have a shiny forehead. But anyway, hello, Lisa. So, today, we're live right now. So, if you'd like to say hi, hello, go ahead, say hi, hello. If you're brand new with us tonight, please give us a shout out so that we can say hello to you and we can welcome you to our little group. And if you're watching this again, again, if you're watching this later and you don't want to say hi, hello, skip to, to about 10 minutes. And hello, Jessica, and hello, Loretta. So, today is... Sunday, December the 9th. Oh, and Barbara just noticed that I already have my band on. Yeah, Barbara, I've been wearing this for like two weeks. And hello, Kim. And hello, Mariah. So, John got me a an ugly sweater. Or it's not an ugly sweater. It's a Christmas sweater magic band. Christmas sweater magic band. So, how cool is that? How cool is that? Yeah, and Mary just got her Dax Spice. Just bought her Dax Spices. Yay! So, I already have this on because seven days from today... Seven days from today, fingers crossed, we will be live. Oh, and Kat, wait, I'm sorry, I have to digress. Catherine is brand new. So everybody say hello to Catherine. It's C-A-T-H-E-R-I-N. So everybody say hello to Catherine and welcome. Welcome to our little group. But seven days from today, so seven days, literally seven days from right now, we should be sitting at the campground with not only Debbie, but hopefully, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, Winstar Karen and her daughter. So they will be staying at the resort that is literally just down the street from us. Um, we were trying to figure out how to get them over to the campground. And then when she told me which resort it was, I was like, um, yeah, it's right across from Best Friends. It's right across from where John takes the dog every day. So he'll just scoop down there and pick them up and bring them back. So fingers crossed, a week from tonight, we will be live from the um, Fort Wilderness Campground. And we'll be with Debbie and with Winstar Karen and hopefully Laura. So, fingers crossed we'll be, you know, be, we'll be with, you know, all of them. So, anyway, and hopefully the um, internet will be better than it was last time. It was so funny. Last time, I think, um, and Debbie helped me, you know, remember, I think every time a bus came by, like every time one of the Disney buses came by, we kind of had a little, I don't know, it got a little glitchy, but, um, which happens a lot. It happens a lot. And a couple of you all are asking, Sandy and a couple of other people are asking for the DAX code, our DAX Spices um, affiliate code is Egg Lady, and it's all run together, E-G-G-L-A-D-Y, and that's good for 10% off. Thank you, Mary, for, um, for posting that. But yeah, so, and Debbie and Casey will meet each other for the first time. So, Debbie and Casey have been talking to each other now for, I don't know, 18 months, I guess? 
maybe 15, 16, 17, 18 months, whatever, but they will meet each other for the first time. And of course, everybody will meet Alyssa for the first time. And y'all get to see Alan again. Um, y'all have seen Alan before. Um, we did, a, Alan and I did a live chat from up in the loft um, when he was getting started on Weight Watchers about a year and a half ago, I guess. Um, and he's, you know, he's popped in and out, but, um, but this will be the first time that Debbie and Casey have met each other. Yeah, face to face. Yeah, and that'll be awesome. And um, so yeah, so that'll be awesome fun. And um, so, oh, did you meet Casey before she was pregnant? I don't remember that. I don't know, we'll come back around. But anyway, but it'll be the first time for everybody um, to meet Alyssa, I think. So she will be with us there um, live. And of course, John and Dusty will be coming in and out, as they always do. But John is in Ohio right now, and Dusty is snoozing on the couch. Yeah, he is snoozing on the couch. Okay, so today is Sunday, December the 9th. Next Sunday, live from the Fort Wilderness Campground. So stay tuned. I think we're going to be um, packing. I think we're going to do a packing party next Sunday. So twice now, Debbie and I have attempted to use the can cooker while we're live. And I'm really not thinking that I'm going to starve her to death this time because bless her heart, she has waited. Well, the first time we did it will be almost exactly a year ago. And it was like, I don't know, Debbie, like, uh, oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. I forgot about that, Debbie. But anyway, so it was like, I don't know, 30 something degrees outside and the camper that we had, we couldn't go inside. So bless her heart. Debbie survived. She survived that one. Um, and then this last time we did a little bit better with the can cooker. Um, we've got it going a little hotter and a little faster, but this time I'm not going to starve her to death. And since maybe we'll have extra guests because we're going to have, it's not just going to be me and John and Dusty and Debbie. It's going to be me, John, Dusty, Debbie, hopefully Winstar Karen and her daughter, Laura, Alan, Casey, and Alyssa. Yeah, so we're not starving anybody to death with a can cooker. But anyway, I think we'll be doing a packing party. So, okay, let's get going. So, if I didn't catch you, hey, hello, and I'll, um, you know, get, try to catch up with you later. And Barbara wants to know if we're taking the ladder. Yes, ma'am, we are. We're taking the Christmas ladder. So, real quick, we had a couple of questions about the above. One, was about this so see this little hat so john got me the camper he got me this little camper at um cracker barrel hey debbie so the lady that waits on them almost every single day at cracker barrel which that will be ending soon and we'll talk about that in a second um actually we'll be talking about that in the second half during the fluff but this camper john got at cracker barrel and the lady who waits on them every single time hello carol um she saved that for him because she was afraid that they would get gone but then casey made the little Mickey ears hat. So just like this that she um, that she crocheted for me, she crocheted a Mickey hat. Is that not cute? Look at the little ears. And it even has a little puff ball on top. So yeah, she's like an awesome crocheter. Okay, I can crochet a chain and I can crochet a round pot holder. And that's it. That's all I can crochet. Casey made these. She made all of Alyssa's little hats that y'all see pictures of her in. And she made the little Mickey ears. Yeah. And let's see, new additions are the little gnome. Casey and I got that while we were um, while we were Black Friday shopping for the two seconds that we got to go Black Friday shopping before um, Nana um, ended up in the ICU, which thank you to everyone for your prayers because she is back at the nursing home <clears throat> and she is much happier, much happier. Of course, she would like to be home home you know, but she is much happier to be back at the nursing home and boy howdy, they were happy to get her back. They called me from there and were super excited that she had come back. Um, but anyway, and this one, this one, and this one were all gifts. And this one, the snowman is a new addition today. And that was from a craft show that my mom and I used to do a long, long, long time ago. And um, hey, Sherry from Connecticut. Is it snowing there? Yeah, is it snowing there? And Casey's exactly right. Nana's probably chugging Dr. Pepper. So that is her favorite beverage of choice. Okay, so let's get going before I get choked because again, Alyssa has blessed us all with this um, cough and runny nose and stopped upness and you know, just general discomfort. So we're all trying to kick it before we get down there to you, Debbie. We're trying to get rid of it before we get down to Florida. So last week, last week, we was chat number one 
hundred. And yes, Betty, the sign does say it does say blessed. So I know it's backwards, but yes, it does say blessed. Um, but last week was chat number one hundred, and thank you, thank you, thank you all so much for being here, and thank you especially for showing so much love um, to Dax Spi to our sponsors who are Dax Spices, Cut to Carb, and I'm supposed to have mine maybe tomorrow if the snow doesn't keep it away, um, and Simple Living Products. And so, Dax Spices, um, in case you all didn't already know, hey, Irma, in case you all already didn't know, and hello, Amy from, um, oh, oh, from, from KC. Okay, are you trying to throw me off? Is that from Kansas City? Because there's not a state with the initials KC. Okay, yeah, and that really threw me off because we call, we spell Casey's name KC, but, Dax Spices was one of the sponsors, and it's just DaxSpices.com. And we do have an affiliate code with them right now. It's Egg Lady, E-G-G-L-A-D-Y. They were one of our fabulous sponsors. And again, congratulations um, to DJ Best of Move. She won all three of the fabulous prizes, and she's already made her selections. So Dax Spices was one. Cut to carb. Still don't have mine. I'm supposed to have it on Monday. So if I get it tomorrow, fingers crossed, if there's no um, snow, then... Um, yeah, then I should have it on, um, I should have my Cut to Carb on Monday, and that's just cuttocarb.com, C-U-T-D-A-C-A-R-B. And to Simple Living Products, who was our main sponsor. Yeah, but that was over $200 worth of prizes. And again, DJ Best of Move won all of it, all of it. So congratulations to her. But it was chat number 100. And so the topic for chat number 100 was to reality check the holidays. And I asked you all last week, I asked you all last week um, to talk to do a, to do a little activity for me. But the first thing I want to know is um, who did their homework. So who did their homework last week? And I know this is backwards, but your homework last week was to better not pout. And the there was better. And then uh oh, the Casey's got to get the wild monkey to bed. So. Yeah, good night, Alyssa, good night. And she was kind of, she's feeling much better, so she was kind of wild today, but it was so cute to watch her play. But the N for not in not pout is never go hungry, never go to an, event, to an event hungry. The O is only eat special food. So only things um, that you, you know, that you can get um, there, you know, don't eat plain old, plain old things, you know, that you can get every, you know, that you can get all the time. T, take the last spot in line, because you know, by the time everybody's dribbled all over it, it's not gonna look as appealing, and you're probably not gonna eat as much. P, put it out of sight. So if you if you are bringing it or if you've been left with leftovers or something, you know, put it out of sight. So, you know, like I send things out to the truck with John um, if I can't, if I don't need to look at them anymore um, or I make it, you know, super, super hard to get to. Um, although if it's a red light food for me, I can't even put it out of sight in the loft. Like I have to send it out, out, out because I'm probably not gonna go to John's truck to get out a bag of potato chips. But if, even if it's hidden in here somewhere, I'll find it. So put it out of sight. O is was offer to help. You know, if you're helping the host or the hostess, you know, and if you're walking around and you're taking plates and you're greeting people. Um, and hello, Jennifer from Trophy Club, Texas. That sounds very fun. Um, but if you're walking around helping or, you know, or you're helping the hostess or you're cleaning or whatever, you know, then you've got, you know, you've, if you've got busy hands, then they're much less likely to be picking up food and sticking it in your mouth. Um, use your tools. Remember, your hands are tools. You know, your your um, cupped hand is approximately a cup. That's why it's called a cupped hand. This is approximately a tablespoon. You know, you have tools that you can use or like the little um, cups and things that I have around the loft. Um, then, you know, I already know how many, you know, what the size of all of, of those are. And um, T, take it to go and give it away, throw it away or share it. So I wanna know of all the things that were on that were on your homework to do, did anybody take something, take something to go? That's the one I want to know about. So if you took something to go, let's see a thumbs up. If you took it to go and then either shared it with somebody later or you threw it away, you know, if it was something that wasn't that special or you gave it away, you know, took it to work and gave it away or, um, you know, or just saved it for later. You know, if it's something that's that good and you just want to save it for later. So I want to know who did that. So give me a thumbs up and then tell me what you did with it. So if anybody took it to go, you took something to go, and then, oh, and Lynn did it today at a Sunday school luncheon. So what did you do with it, Lynn? So what I wanna know is what did y'all do with it? I wanna know, was there anybody who did not give it, who did not eat it, who threw it away? <laughs> That's what I'm looking for because every year somebody gives me something. Oh, Carol took a cookie home and gave it to her hubby. 
And Debbie doesn't take anything from a party, doesn't take anything. So, but Debbie, I have people though, I have people in my life who would just be heartbroken, be, would be heartbroken if I didn't take something or if I didn't try something. So sometimes I'll take it to go and then I, again, I'll either give it away to somebody or I'll take it to work or, you know, or if it's something that's super special. I remember like that strawberry cake I was talking about, I will, um, I'll, you know, save it and share, you know, share it later. And JJ saved hers for a lunch. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. So to everybody who did your homework last week, here is your Bravo sticker. So congratulations to you all. Do you realize what an accomplishment this is for you all? A, to be attending. Um, oh, oh, and Lynn took hers to somebody that was unable to attend the party. That's a great idea. And see, like two people were blessed. The person who made the food and wanted you to take it and the person who was unable to attend. So Lynn gets two Bravo stickers. Very good. And Sherry um, shared hers with her husband. Sandra's husband ate it. Hope you, hopefully you wanted him to. Hopefully you wanted to, um, but um, but anyway, so yeah, bravo to you all. So everybody who is um, just attending, you know, during this time, I mean, that's an accomplishment in itself. So you all are attending during the most food populated time of year. Um, Cause remember the Super Bowl is number one, the Super Bowl, and y'all are coming up with some great ideas. So keep sharing them. The Super Bowl is the number one day but there are between 25 and 30 days in between when Thanksgiving and whatever other winter holiday um, is that you're going to celebrate. So you've, some of us have 25 to 30 days that we've got to deal with this food. So good job to everybody who's still attending meetings, who's still attending here with us. And speaking of that, who attended, who put your bottom in a chair last week? So who attended your wellness workshop last week and sat your bottom in a chair Let's do thumbs ups for that. And if you're on YouTube watching this later, you won't be able to see the thumbs ups, but I'll tell you if there's a whole lot. So thumbs up if you attended a wellness workshop last week, if you sat your bottom in a chair, I did, I did. And if you attended here with us last week, or if you did both, let's see some hearts. And I'll tell you, YouTube people, there's lots of thumbs ups going by. Lots of thumbs ups going by. And lots of comments with thumbs up. And you can always comment later I see those. So if you if you comment on you know if you comment on YouTube or if you comment on the blog, on www.ifyouhaveanegg.com, yeah, and, okay. And there's lots of like Kim and Ozma both did thumb heart thumb heart thumb heart thumb heart in the um, comments. Yeah, Barbara did both. Lynn did both. Rosie did both. That's awesome. So y'all get double Bravo stickers. So one two for all of you. So good job, ladies. I mean, I'm serious. This is so critical, so critical to our, you know, to our weight loss journey is to keep it under control right now. I'm not saying don't enjoy yourself, but to keep it under control right now, um, it's just critical because if we can do this, what we're doing right now, if we can do this the whole rest of the year, um, you know, like our fearless leader Gwen likes to say, it's not what happens between Thanksgiving and Christmas, um, you know, that's the big deal. It's what happens from Christmas to Thanksgiving. So think about it. Christ Thanksgiving to Christmas, if Christmas is the holiday that you celebrate, and even if you don't celebrate Christmas, people are bringing you food. <laughs> people who do celebrate Christmas are bringing you food. I could almost promise it. But so Thanksgiving to Christmas, like this year, was exactly, um, I think it was 30, was it exactly 30 days or 29 days or something like that? I can't remember what day of the week Thanksgiving was on or what day of the month Thanksgiving was on. But so that's only like 30 days in between. So Thanksgiving to Christmas is only like 30 days. But then Christmas to the next Thanksgiving, let's see, that would be how many? 335 other days, 330-ish to 335 other days. So if we can keep it together right now, and when people are just really, really, really pushing all this food, you know, bringing us so much food, we're gonna be great. You know, we're gonna do great for the next 330 something days. So bravo to all of you all. So this last week, our topic, was, and this, remember this is 101 for us, but the topic um, for WW was look back to look forward. And I wanna show you quickly, I do not want to get sidetracked on this, so nobody get me sidetracked on this, but quickly before we talk about last week, did everybody get their new welcome to WW? If you attended a physical, a wellness workshop, a physical one, did you get your copy of welcome to WW? So this takes the place of all the books. I think we used to get like six different pieces of material and this took the place of all of them. Our 
we got them at our in our um workshop but we are a um we're a we're a franchise um we're a franchise so uh we're franchise owned so i didn't know if everybody got these yet but if you attend a physical workshop please remember to pick this up it's tiny compared to you know compared to what we what we used to get and if you're brand new you should get one of these but it's just called welcome to ww and then it says wellness that works oh and kim says not yet in canada sorry so i'll just give you some sneak you know some sneak peeks to it um, it's beautiful. First of all, you know, the colors on it are beautiful. It is that slicky material like our um, weeklies are now. And I'm really liking that because they feel, I don't know, they're the slick. I don't even know what you, what you call this slick stuff that they're coated in now, the coating. Um, but I like it because if I drip on it, because if I drip on it, then it's not gonna get wet. Yeah, and Debbie says not for online. Um, so, I mean, our online stuff is gonna change, you know, it's gonna change too. Um, and I don't know if y'all can request them or not. I'll have to ask about that. But basically, it's everything. It's everything that we had before. It's just condensed because they figured, um, or you know, this is my theory on this, is that they figured, hey, you know what? we're already busy, you know, who's got time to read six little books worth of things? So they took all the most important parts, all the most important parts of all those little books that we used to get when we first joined, and they've condensed them into one pretty easy to read, get to the point, tell us what we need to know, you know, get in, get in, get in, and get out, um, instead of, you know, burdening us with that. And to be honest, did anybody read all of those? Was anybody reading all the material? So you know, I didn't, um, but it talks about how to use your e-tools, you know, how to track things on your phone. Um, if you have e-tools, it's got some suggestions on different ways to enjoy zero point foods. It also has um, some different combos. So in case you're having trouble figuring out some things to put together, you know, it's got some different combos. And then I love this one. So we're gonna stop on this page because we do have a lot to talk about ourselves too. But I love this one because it is what a day could look like on um, WW Freestyle. So this first one, this, these are all 23 point days. So this first one is called um, Quick and Easy and it has it's got toast with some um, with a hard boiled egg on it and some orange slices and then some kind of soup with a sandwich and then it has this lovely snack right here and then it has another snack and then it has some shrimp and a little bit of looks like some rice or something like that for dinner and that's a 23 smart point day that's a 23 smart point day so you know that's actual food. That's like, that's real food. And it's even got a weekend favorites one, um, you know, over here. So it's got um, something that you would get out, you know, for breakfast. It's got a yummy snack. It's got something look, that looks good for dinner and for lunch and, an, you know, and another snack. And it even has vegetarian ideas down here. So for anybody that says, you know, oh, I didn't want to track, you know, it's too hard to track. I'm sorry. I would rather track. I would rather track and have real food than just eat something out of a box all the time. So anyway, and Tag says you can't choose favorite activities anymore with the app. Bummer. Um, you know, I didn't even know you could choose favorites because I track all of mine. I let mine sync from my fitness um, monitor. So I didn't even know that was an issue. Sorry. Um, maybe they'll work on that because, you know, they have a team of hundreds, if not thousands of people that are constantly working on on the app and getting all this stuff put together for us. So, um, so maybe that's something they can work on. So, hey, wait, uh, WW people, WW techie people, um, Tag needs the favorite activities to be back on the app. So if y'all get to work on that, that would be awesome. If you could do that for us, we would, we would love you. Okay, so looking back to look forward. This is what we talked about this week. Um, and Look at the cruise beef tenderloin. So this is from this is from one of the WW cruises. I could eat that. How about you all? Yeah, I think that looks really good. I mean, that looks super super good. So I'm definitely keeping this one. And again, it's on the Slicky Weekly. So even if I get it wet, not a problem. Or you can print them from um, online if you are um, if you are digital only. But so I used to work with a guy 
who would always tell me when I would say, when he would say, hey, what went wrong this week? You know, like, why didn't you get this finished? Or why was that a disaster? Or why did this go up in flames or whatever? And I would say, well, um, you know, such and such happened. And I would always like look back, you know, I was always looking in my rear view mirror trying to figure out what happened to get me to this point. And this guy drove me crazy because he would always say, Kelly, stop, you know, stop looking behind you. Um, and he used a lot of words that I really, um, I don't know, they're words that we make fun of now. And I know they're, they're important, you know, in the industry and they're important and things like that. But he would always tell me that I needed to quantify my decision, my feelings even, that I needed to quantify my feelings, um, that, you know, measuring was knowing. Um, he had, I don't know, he had all these big corporate, he had all these big corporate terms for things that, um, and I was like, Okay, dude, I appreciate that. I appreciate all of your advice. I really do. And I know that the company is paying you tons of money for this advice that you're giving me. But sometimes I need to know what happened. Like if you um, ran out of gas last week and you don't want to run out of gas this week, you kind of need to know that last week you didn't stop in time to put gas in your car. That could help. Like knowing, like reflecting back and thinking, oh, Tuesday of last week, hmm, I didn't take time to stop and put gas in my car. Mm, I've been driving for a whole nother week. It's Tuesday again. Remember when that happened last week? Perhaps I should stop and put gas in my car. So I didn't need to quantify that um, decision. I needed to look back and figure out why I ran out of gas the week before. So thanks a lot. Um, but I do agree though that we can't dwell. So if you're gonna look back if you're gonna look back at something, just kind of look back at it in your rear view mirror. You know, what I don't, here's what I don't want you to do. So what we're talking about tonight is looking back to look forward. So I want you to look back, I want you to glance up in your, your journeys, um, and that reminded Betty that she needs gas. See, last week I didn't remind you, and that was what made you run out of gas. But I want you to look back in your rear view mirror. So look back in your WW rear view mirror and look at some things that went well or didn't go well for you this last year. What I don't want you to do, this is what I think what he was, the point he was trying to drive home is what he didn't want you to do was just to completely turn around and just look backwards. So you can't completely turn around and just constantly be looking in the back because you, you can't say, you know, week after week after week after week after week, you know, well, I didn't get that done because I ran out of gas, you know, two weeks ago. Well, and that didn't get done because I ran out of gas three weeks ago. And well, I'll never, I'll never be able to keep gas in the car again because I ran out of gas four weeks ago. And no, I'm just, you know, maybe I shouldn't even have a car because I ran out of gas five weeks ago. That's what he's talking about is don't turn around, just don't, don't turn around and just keep looking in the back. But you kind of have to glance up in your rear view mirror sometimes and just think, you know, this, you know, this could have gone better or this led to this. So I'll glance up here and remind myself how that happened so I don't do it again. Um, in, in our weekly, it says some of the things that you could, that you should look back on, the progress that you've made. So right now, it would be really, really easy for me to go to turn around and say, you know, I had 50 pounds. I needed to lose 50 pounds, um, but you know, uh, six months ago or seven months ago now, my doctor changed my medicine and it made me, and it led to a series of things that made me gain um, 12 pounds. Um, I could just turn around, you know, backwards. I could just turn around backwards and just keep looking at that and just keep going down that road, that sad, 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 sad road. But instead, <coughs> I'm looking up in my rearview mirror and I'm saying, you know what? Seven months ago, my doctor changed my medicine much against my, um, desire you know i did not want to change that at all and um because of that i stopped walking so much in the morning um i got lazier about my food you know blah 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 hello wanda you know this the series of things um that helped to you know to lead to that weight gain and and said oh you know what because i've been keeping track and because i write all this down and because i make little notes for myself you know about when i do things well or you know when things are going well you know what happened that week um, hello Liliana, then I could look back in my rearview mirror and I could say, hey, I'm back on my regular medicine now, so I need to start, go get back to this, 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 and this. Those are all things that I did in the past. Remember, I'm not turning around, just looking in the past. I'm just glancing in my rearview mirror and saying, hello Pam. Oh, no, sorry, Pam saying hi to Wanda and Liliana. Um, but I can just glance in my rearview mirror and say, hey, 
all these little notes that I make my, for myself and put them on the refrigerator and that I keep for myself and all these weeklies that I've written notes on, I can glance in my rearview mirror and say, hey, when I was taking my uh, regular medicine, which I'm back on now, I could do this, this, and this. So I did that, <coughs> I'm sorry, and I've already lost five, five of the pounds. So yeah, so instead of just, you know, turning around and looking in the past, I reflected on something that worked well in the past you know, and went back to it. Um, you need, need to reflect on what works and what doesn't. So what works for me, <coughs> I'm sorry, what works for me um, is eating small meals throughout the day. It does not work for me to eat, you know, just a couple of big meals. So I reflect on that, you know, I go back and look and I, when I look at my trackers and I say, hey, when I had a bad week, when I had a bad week, I can look back on my tracker and say, ah, yeah, I went over on my fruit every day because for me, fruit, over five servings of fruit in a day is an issue for me. That doesn't mean it's one for everybody. But I can also look back, I can tilt in my mirror and I can say, hey, but the weeks that I had great success, I kept it under five, you know, I kept it under five servings of fruit and I bumped up those servings of vegetables instead. And I went to Planet Fitness twice that week and I walked five days that week or whatever so I can see what went well too. Um, I, and I track my zero point food. So for me, I can reflect back. I can look in my rear view mirror and say, when I track everything, including my zero point, um, point foods, then I can look back and see what weeks were good. Oh, and Liliana got her 60 pounds down. Yay! Awesome, Liliana. Congratulations. Here's another Bravo sticker for you. Um, and then you can take all those, you know, when you're kind of adjusting your mirror and you can look and see where you've been, then you can move forward. So you can move forward in your journey. You know, it would have been really easy for me just to sit down and, you know, become a grumpa lump um, about the medicine and about that little, you know, that little bit of, you know, weight gain from that. Um, but instead, you know, I can look back on that and say, well, you know, I really didn't appreciate that, Dr. Doctor H. Sorry, I won't say your name. Don't really appreciate that, Dr. H. Let's not do that again. Um, but stay focused, you know, on my future because I can look back and see that. So, I will tell you, we did in our physical, um, in our physical workshop, we did, um, Gwen passed out, she passed out some little slips of paper and had some volunteers. And I know y'all are shocked that I volunteered um, to read something, hmm. but she, um, she passed those out. And so we all read, you know, all of us read something from that little slip of paper and then you had to answer. You didn't have to, but if you had an answer, you know, you could fill it in. And one girl, hers was awesome. I wish I could remember, I wish I could remember what the question was, but it was something like a, it was like a non-scale, it was like, you know, what's one non-scale, you know, um, thing that she could celebrate. And I'm going to tell you real quick, cause it's already 835 and we're going to go past nine o'clock tonight, but one, um, but it was like a non-scale, you know, something that she could celebrate. And she's pretty new to Weight Watchers. She's been there may or WW. She's been coming to our, uh, workshop maybe six weeks. I think, <coughs> excuse me. I, th I think it's about six or seven weeks. And, um, she said last week there was something wrong with her car. The steering wheel felt funny. Like it wasn't, the steering wheel wasn't working right. And she could not figure out what was wrong with it. And she kept driving her car and she kept asking people and people kept checking it and people kept test driving it. And her boyfriend took it, you know, took it around. And he was like, there's nothing wrong with your steering wheel. And she was like, yeah, if there's something wrong with my steering wheel. It's not right. Guess what it was? Guess what it was? Her tummy is not rubbing. Her steering wheel is not rubbing on her tummy anymore. So her steering wheel was turning more free. I mean, oh my gosh, is that not amazing? She thought there was something wrong with her car. There was nothing wrong with her car. That was like the best, I don't know. It was an awesome non-scale victory. It was just an awesome, I don't know. It was just so awesome. So mine... Um, mine that I, um, read was something that I wanted to, that I wanted to work on, you know, something that I could be better at next year. And this just popped in my head. It literally just popped in my head that something that I could be better at this year is, you know, so lots of people were saying things like, you know, something that they could be better at was getting to the gym or, um, being better at tracking or, you know, all these, um, I call them Jesus answers. So like in Sunday school, if they ask you a question and if the only answer you ever give is Jesus or, you know, like that's the correct answer to every single question. It literally does not matter what question they ask in Sunday school. As long as you go, Oh Jesus, you know, then you've just, 
probably correctly answered the question. But anyway, so these were like, you know, Jesus answers. They were things like, uh, you know, I want to be better at tracking more or drinking more water or, you know, it was all things that in our books, you know, you know, there are things in our book that the WWE Pharisees, and I'm just kidding when I say this, the, you know, the rules, you know, that we, that we're supposed to follow, you know, that we're going to move more. I could be better at drinking more water, you know, whatever. But the thing that popped in my head was eating the groceries that I actually bought. So that probably sounds like a weird one, but that's what the second half of our chat is going to be about tonight is eating the groceries that I already bought. So one thing that I would like to improve on for 2019 is eating groceries that I've already purchased. So you all have no idea, no idea how much I spend on groceries every week where trying to get ready for the chats or having all these grandiose ideas that I'm going to get, you know, all these new recipes done and I'm going to try some crazy things. And when I'm, um, yeah, see, and Wanda's right on there with me. And like going to Costco or to Sam's, you know, to do a, to do um, a haul, you know, do a Costco haul or a Sam's haul or a Trader Joe's haul or whatever. And then I buy all this stuff and I bring it home and I do the and I do the video for the haul. And then it goes in the refrigerator and doesn't get eaten. Half of it doesn't get eaten. So that's the second half of our chat. So. Your homework, because we're not to the fluff just yet, even though it's 8.39 and we gotta get going. So your homework for this week though, is to pick something that you could be better at this year. So it doesn't have to be, just, I mean, it could be, it could be your Jesus answer. It could be drink more water or attend more meetings or, you know, whatever, hello, Nandu. So, um, but it could be something like that. But it also could be something way out there like mine, Something I want to be better at in 2019 is eating the groceries that I actually purchased. So that is your homework. Who's going to do your homework? Everybody show me who's going to do your homework and you're going to tag me in it, right? So when you say something that I want to do better in 2019, and it doesn't even have to be WW related. I mean, it could just be anything, you know, that you want to get better at getting up on time or going to bed early or it just has to do with sleep or taking some time for yourself or, you know, whatever. So if you do, so if you do it, tag me in it so that I know, hello Marlene, so that I know you did your homework. Oh, I already see some hands. Barbara's got her hands up. Sylvia saying I will. So I already see some hands. Sue's waving. Sue's saying, I'll do it. I'll do it. Rosie's got a thumbs up. She's ready to go. So Lynn's going to do it. Lynn's always a good homework, a good homeworker though. Mary Ann's going to do it. But so don't forget to tag me in them though. Um, so when you post these, be sure and tag me so that, yeah, and Kathy, we're getting her to talk about that exactly. Yeah, and Betty's going to work on cleaning the house. Mm, mm. Yeah, Debbie, you're not stealing mine. It's a, it's a good one, I think it's a good one. So that is your homework for this week. Don't forget to tag me if you do, if you post it on Instagram, you just tag at if you have an egg. If you are doing it here on the Facebook page, it's still at if you have an egg. If you're doing it in our Facebook group, our closed group, it's at Kelly Green Milligan. Um, and if you, and it'll pop up, if you put in Kelly G, it'll pop up and you'll be able to tag me. If you're doing it on connect, it's at scrap and stamp too. Don't ask. Yeah. So don't forget to tag me so that I'll know you did your homework and I can give you a Bravo sticker next week. Okay. And remember next week, you're not just getting Bravo stickers from me. You're getting Bravo stickers from Debbie and fingers crossed Winstar Karen. Yeah. So that'll be a big Bravo sticker day or Alyssa. Alyssa could give you Bravo stickers. We'll have to give her something to hand out. Okay, so that is the end of our meeting. It's the end of our workshop. So anybody who is only here for the workshop, for workshop number 101, look back to look forward. You're dismissed. And anybody that wants to stay for the fluff, hold on for just a second. I'm going to get another sip of water. Okay, so now that it's just us and all of the just, you know, meeting people are gone. All the, just the studious people are gone and the fun people are here. Now we're going to talk about the fluff part of this. So my answer to my question um, at our workshop last week, something that I want to be, do better, something that I want to be better at in 2019, I chose 
to, um, I chose to eat what I purchased. So again, Costco, Sam's, um, I mean, I've, I'm buying stuff I don't need. I'm buying stuff we will never eat. Um, I'm buying stuff and giving it away, throwing it away, wondering why I bought it, you know, whatever. So what I want to do better in 2019 is eating what I buy. So I'm gonna tell you, we've got about 20 minutes to talk about this. So I'm gonna give you my, um, what I've been working on all week. So we, I started this on Wednesday of last week. Today is Sunday. So that is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So this is the fifth day. And I know y'all know how to count, but in case you're watching this later and you don't know what day this was, my meeting, my um, physical workshop is on Tuesday night. So I started this on Wednesday because accountability buddy Karen did remind everybody she did remind everybody. And no, JJ, that's the that's the thing. Planning's not involved because I ain't going to plan it because I like to wing it at all moments. But accountability buddy Karen did, um, I know she wasn't trying to, but she did kind of shame me last week by talking about, oh, you should see how much food she has. So I started this on Wednesday. I came home Tuesday night and John was home uh, Wednesday through this morning. So he participated in the first four and a third days of this, but I decided, you know what? We're leaving for Disney on Friday. So I had Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday with John, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then we leave on Friday. So I have like nine days or nine and a half days. I wanted to see, can I make it nine days without buying anything else? nine days. So that's, let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine. Can I make it nine days without buying anything else? And I want to tell you, I'm through day five and I called it hashtag shop, uh, what I call it? Shop your pantry. Now I have to check. Yeah. Shop your pantry. So hashtag shop your pantry. Some people were calling it shop your freezer, shop your fridge, you know, whatever. So I fully understand that everything that I'm eating did not come out of my pantry. Um, which is just a shelf in the loft because we don't have room for a pantry. You know, some of it came out of the freezer, some of it came out of the fridge, some of it came off the counter, some of it came from the pantry. But shop your pantry sounded cuter or looked cuter in a hashtag to me, so it is hashtag shop your pantry. So, I have been shop, hashtag shop your pantry for five days now. John was here for four and a bit, and then he will be back for the last two days of it, but it'll be nine days. If I make it, it'll be nine days all together. Oh, and Carol, that Carol's family calls it living off the land. I love that. I love that. So I think I'm gonna make it. I'm a little over halfway through. I got to tell you, I can't even see. There's not a dent. There is not a dent in this food at all. So yeah, the only thing I'm getting slim on is a tiny bit of fresh fruits and vegetables, but you know what? It's okay. I have plenty more. So, I want to tell you the five, top five reasons why I think almost all of us, so I'm not speaking for 100% of everyone, but five, the top five reasons why I think almost all of us could, could do this, could shop your pantry at least five days. You know, I'm going for nine days, but I think all of us could make it at, at least five days. Okay, so here are the five reasons. These are my, my five reasons. Get one more sip of water. So, reason number five, and we're going to count them down, okay? Reason number five, we are healthy, we are wealthy, healthy, and wise. And Pam, you just nailed it. We are so spoiled, so spoiled. I am throwing out food. Do you know how much that disgusts me? That just disgusts me that I actually... um said it out loud like I admitted it to myself, I am throwing out food, throwing it out. There's no excuse for that, no excuse. We live in downtown Knoxville. I pass people every single day, every single day, who didn't have anything to eat this morning, don't know where they're gonna get it to eat, you know, um, kids that are going to school hungry, and I am throwing out food. So my number five reason, and it's not that that's the least important, it's just the biggest reason, but my number five reason is we are wealthy, healthy, and I'm gonna be more wise. So, um, yeah, we are in, yeah, and Debbie's exactly right. Um, having all of our storage space, we hoard food. I'm 
I didn't even realize that I'm such a food hoarder. So we are, even though we're not rich, we live in the richest country in the world. Um, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous how spoiled we are and how much, you know, and how much food we have. So we are wealthy. Um, all of us, all of us, you know, joining this chat, we are all probably for the most part wealthy. Even if you're living on, if even if you're on a fixed income, if you have an income, we're wealthy. We are all trying to be healthy and the number five reason, yeah, wealthy, healthy, and I'm trying to be more wise. So that that is my number five reason. I looked, I had, you know, cause I've been making the Hasselback potatoes. So I have, you know, a potato. No, I have two potatoes. I counted, I have 11 potatoes. Why? John is gone. John's gone for the next four or five days. We're leaving to go out of town on Friday. <clears throat> Why do I have 11 potatoes? There's no reason for that. I found while I was going through my pantry, I found bags and bags and bags of snacks. I found bags and bags uh, or like um, snack bar after snack bar after snack bar after snack bar after snack bar. I found um, the peanut butter cups that we take to Disney. I just packed all those. They're all packed now and ready to go. I found three boxes of them. We get the Jif to go peanut butter cups. Why did I have three boxes of those? Anyway, we're wealthy. We're trying to get healthy and I'm gonna get and I'm getting more wise. So that's my number five reason to hashtag shop your pantry. Number four, family fun. So after I shamed myself with throwing the food away, we decided to have some family fun with it. Um, John and I figured out real quick that we we could have some fun with what we were um, with you know with what we were pulling out of the um, you know out of out of everywhere that we were that we were bringing out food from. So I opened the drawer, the like I guess I just call it the meat drawer because it has cheese and meat and you know sandwich you know sandwich meat and stuff like that in it. And I picked up a pack and they're gone now. Or I'd show you, but I picked up a pack of turkey hot dogs and I went, hmm, we have turkey hot dogs. So what, you know, what was I gonna do with these? And John was like, I don't know. So the first night we put two, her, or we put four, cause we each had two. We put four turkey hot dogs and we went to the, um, and we put them in the air fryer. We put them in the Simple Living Products air fryer and cooked them in there. And then we put a half a slice of Velveeta cheese on the top of each one of those. And then I took a can of beans cause apparently I'm hoarding beans. I don't know why, but I have like, eight cans of pinto or some form of pinto or northern or whatever beans that doesn't even include all the black beans that I have <coughs> but anyway then we made we took a can of beans and we took some um G Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce and some G Hughes sugar-free ketchup and some uh, and I didn't bring it out here we brought some we got some took some Dax um, spices, the BB Queen, and just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of brown sugar, and we made um, barbecue beans with that. And then we took two of the 11 potatoes and made Hasselback potatoes, and that's what we had for supper one night. Well, we still had two of the turkey hot dogs left. So the next night, and John was just like, this is awesome, we should eat like this all the time. You know, it was so simple, but we loved it, it was so good. Well, then the next night, we still had two of the turkey hot dogs left, and um, we still had another can of beans. Of course, we still had you know plenty of barbecue sauce and plenty of the ketchup left. So we made beanie weenies. We made barbecue, barbecue baked beanie weenies. So and it was fun. Then we had this pizza that was in the in the freezer, and we cut it in half. We cut it in half and we played with it and put it in the air fryer and put half at a time in the air fryer. Oh my gosh, it was so fun. This would have sat, this is something I bought from a Trader Joe's haul. This would have sat in the freezer until it was freezer burned and we threw it away. I'm serious, it would have. But cut in half and each half of it cooked in the, um, in the air fryer, it was perfect, perfect. Okay, so that's number four, family fun. Have some family fun. You know, like get the kids involved and say, okay kids, we have these six ingredients. You know, what are we gonna make it? What are we gonna make out of this? You know, and have some fun. Okay, upcycling in the kitchen. So if you all know me in real life, and this is not, this is real life, but if you know me in real life, you know that I have a recycling can that's as big as my garbage can. And we fill it up 
every single day with some form of recycling. I'm maybe one of the handful of people that you know that cuts the top off of your, um, um, of the Keurig cups and dumps the used coffee into, um, into a, um, a can to be put into the mulch at work. And then I recycle the little cups. Anyway, so upcycling. So normal me would have taken this very, very, very overripe, very overripe banana. And I probably would have chucked it and gotten a, purchased a new banana at the store. And I had a couple of sad little apples left. Um, and I would have, you know, replaced them with new ones and just gotten rid of those, just thrown those away. Um, which is sad that I would have thrown away perfectly good fruit. But instead, I've been taking my sad little apples that are um, that are left, and instead of replacing them with new apples, I've been making air fryer baked apples. The sad little leftover apples are perfect for that, and that recipe is already on my blog at www.ifyouhaveanegg.com, and just look up air fryer baked apples. <coughs> so yummy, and you can cook those in the oven too. You do not have to have an air fryer. And this will be a waffle tomorrow. Yeah, so it's perfect for a waffle. So this does not need to be thrown away. Do not throw this away. So I'm upcycling, and Jennifer, I like my banana. I like my bananas with a lot of spots on them. This one got funky. It just got weird. Like it's soft. Yeah, it's super soft. But anyway, so upcycling in the kitchen. Yeah, I know. And Barbara says bananas are black when she eats them in her oatmeal. So that's awesome. Yeah. So okay, that once was lost. Let's see. What once was lost now is found. So while I was shopping in my freezer, guess what I found? Apparently in September, apparently in September, I made, and here I haven't unfrozen it yet, thawed it yet. I know, I like unfrozen better. But apparently in September, I made a big batch of chili and I'm really not sure why I made a big batch of chili in September in Knoxville in Tennessee because it probably was still 105 degrees outside. I don't know if we had a little cold snap or whatever, but apparently I made a big batch of chili and I put part of the chili in this bag and then set it in this so that it wouldn't go down. Have you ever put like hot soup or whatever directly on a freezer shelf and it goes in the little grooves and then you can't get it out? So apparently back in September, I thought, oh, I'll be smart and I'll put it in this, in this, in this, so that it doesn't do that. And this was gonna be forever lost, forever lost in my freezer. So I'm sure back in September, I had great grandiose ideas for this, but if I had not been hashtag shop your pantry, I wouldn't have found this. And you know what would have happened? We would have gotten to whatever month and I would have pulled it out and it would have been disgustingly freezer burned and I would have thrown it away. But instead, Guess what I'm having for supper tonight? Yes, so I'm having this tonight. And then tomorrow, I will be having some of the leftover chili and one of the nine potatoes that are left now. Yeah, so see? <coughs> so what, what once was lost, now is found. So that was shoved into the back of the freezer. Never, ever, ever to be seen again. Never, ever. And now it's been found, and now that's what I'm having for supper tonight. Okay, and the number one reason, number one, <coughs> where did I say I'm going on Friday? Where did I say we are going on Friday? And I'm going to have to have some help with this because John is not here to do this for me. So, where did I say we were going on Friday? So, when we leave here on Friday, where are we headed? Who remembers? Who remembers where we're headed? <coughs> Sorry, I ran out of water, so I may hack the last few minutes. Okay, so Friday, we were headed to Disney, which we go to often, but yeah, Debbie says to see her. Yes, Debbie, we are we are going to see you, and yes, yes, Debbie and another Debbie and Betty and Sylvia, yes, headed to Disney World. So this time, I have to pay for me and John and Alan and Casey and Alyssa. And even though Alyssa is free, you know she will have to come home. And yes, and Barbara's exactly right. It's on my hand, yes. So, <clears throat> you know, money will be spent. So, here's my number one reason. And for everybody that said they were on a fixed income or, um, you know, that struggles, you know, with money. 
So here's my number one reason. Money, money, money. Hello, Stacy. Here's my, so this is my number one reason for hashtag shop your pantry. Money, money, money. Let's just do a quick tally of how much I will have saved. If I make it all 10 days, how much we will have saved. So we've got 10 days, so I'm gonna write down 10. Okay, John spends on average $10 a day, $10 a day on lunch at work. So that is 10 times 10, that's $100. That's $100 just from John not eating lunch at work. Um, I spend on average $5 a day on lunch at work times 10 is $50. So I'm gonna write down another $50. Then I spend um, about, I spend about $120. There's two of us, two. There's only two of us. I spend about $120 a week on groceries. And sometimes it's groceries that we're gonna eat, but a lot of times it's groceries that I'm getting for all these wild ideas for the chats, yeah, or for a grocery haul or whatever. So that's about $120. And then we still, a couple of times a week, we eat out. We have all this food at home, all of this food at home, but we still eat out a couple of times a week. Friday nights, we normally have pizza. We had a pizza in the freezer. This isn't the only one. There was this one and two other square ones. We had three pizzas in the freezer, three, three. And yet we probably still would have, you know, eaten out if we had not been doing hashtag, hashtag um, shop your pantry. So we eat out on average three times and we live downtown. So I'm gonna say that it's 20, let's say that it's $25 each time that we eat out. Cause we're not big, huge, we're not big, huge, you know, spenders like we don't eat the big fancy places okay so let's just do a quick tally and john's not here to figure this up for me but that's a hundred dollars plus fifty dollars plus 120 dollars plus 75 dollars so that's five and then seven that's 14 three so look what i'm gonna save if i can make it nine days nine days <coughs> and let's see if i can actually let's see if i can write this backwards so that y'all can see it um, and if I pull this off, I get some kind of an award for this. So is this facing the correct way? 345, yeah. $345. How is that even possible? $345? Because I'm not going to the store this week? $345. Now, I mean, at some point I'll have to go to the store again. And you know, occasionally we want to get, we're going to want to eat out. But in nine days, in nine, if, the, if over the next nine days, if I do not go purchase any other food and I don't eat out, three hundred and forty-five dollars. That's a week's salary for some people. Three hundred forty-five dollars. That's insane. That is absolutely insane. Um. Wanda wants to know if John will take his lunch with him when he goes out of town. He doesn't have to pay for his lunch when he goes out of town. So, but he will not, you know, he will not be spending that, but he has already agreed to. So, John, you know John. <coughs> if you've met John, you know he's already done. He already probably had all this math done in his head. But so, before he left, he said, okay, so we're going to keep doing this. He's already agreed to do it. And he thinks it's funny. Um, and, um, so, oh yeah, and Debbie's exactly right. That would almost pay for half of a pass holder at Disney. Yeah, $345. So, John, I'm sure, has already done all of this math in his head because he also said when he gets back, when we get back from Disney, he's going to stop driving his big truck. He's going to drive one of the other three cars that we have back and forth to work. They don't use his truck at work. They don't use it. So, he's going to save money on gas. Um, he's gonna, anyway, he had this whole list of things and he's gonna start taking his lunch every day. And my gosh, we still have, there's, I'm telling you, except for the fresh things, there is not a dent, not even a dent in the food that we have. Like you, if you came over now, like if accountability Karen came over right now, she wouldn't even be able to tell that, that we had eaten any of the food that we have. So the five things, five, and it is 902, so we're actually doing pretty good. So the five things, number five, 
the five reasons you should hashtag shop your pantry. Number five, we are wealthy, healthy, and let's get wise, people. Okay, let's get wise. We've got we've got to stop throwing food away. Number four, family fun. It it was pretty fun coming up with those things. And John's favorite so far was the beanie weenies. <laughs> he loved it, loved it. Yeah, 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 loved it. Um, number three, upcycling in the kitchen. You know, and they're and it's yummy. I mean, I love baked apples. I love them, you know. So, yeah, I'm totally excited now about upcycling my kind of sad apples, you know, into some air fryer baked apples. And, again, those are already on the blog. It's www.ifyouhaveanegg.com. And, you know, about my, my waffle that I'm going to get to have. Number two, what was once lost is now found. I'm going to have some chili for dinner tonight. And then I'm going to have it with one of the nine potatoes that are left um, tomorrow night. And number one, money, money, money. That's $345 I don't have to come up with for Disney. Yeah, plus my refrigerator is going to be cleaned out. So if I get rid of the last of the little scraps and dribs and drabs, you know, of everything that's in there, you know, add some of the little bit of um, fat-free sour cream that's left in the container. I used the last of the fat-free ricotta today instead of throwing it away. Um, the last of the cheese will be gone. The last of the lunch meat's gone. That pack of hot dogs, of turkey hot dogs is gone. Um, that would have been thrown away. We would have gotten back from Disney and had to throw that away because it would have been out of date by the time we got back. All the eggs will be gone by the time we go. All the egg whites will be gone. Um, yeah, so money, money, money. So that's your five reasons. Um, okay, so do I have any volunteers? Do I have any volunteers that are going to shop their pantry? So remember, you already have homework from the, you already have homework from our um, workshop. You have that homework, but I need five people. I don't know why I picked the number five, I guess, because I have one hand up. <coughs> I need five people that while we're going to Disney, that you're going to hashtag shop your pantry and you're going to, and you're going to like, I mean, tell us what you did. I want to know how many days you made it. So I'm trying for nine. Nine might be extreme, but I'm telling you, there's enough food here. I could keep going. I could keep going. I could keep going. But I need five people to to shop, you know, to hashtag shop your pantry. I need to know how many days you did. Okay, there's like a bunch of y'all already saying, yes, you're in. Um, so I want to know how many days, how many days you made it. Betty's already been doing it all week. Good job, Betty. So I need to know how many days you made it um, and whether or not you suffered. So five people. I think we've already got five people. So that's what I want y'all to do this week. That's your extra homework. That's your extra credit, I guess, for this week. So again, next week, fingers crossed, we will see you live from Disney with our extra $345. And yes, Lynn is exactly right. So hashtag shop my pantry um, if you participate in that. And don't forget to tag me if you know how to tag me. But yeah, so hopefully seven days from now, we will be winding down um, from the campground at um, Disney's Fort Wilderness with our extra friends. And, um, oh, and Tag's already been doing it for two weeks, so she's gotta go get fresh fruit and veggies and milk. <coughs> I totally understand. I'm gonna be out of that soon. But, okay, let's see if we can get Dusty. Dusty, come here. Come here, buddy. He's like, oh, are we having chili soon? Yep, and Debbie, we will see you very soon. Is there anything that you need from Knoxville besides snow? So, it's supposed to start snowing again tonight. All the big amount of snow our big snow that we had this morning, huge flakes again, lasted for about, I don't know, two hours and then it was gone, but it's supposed to start snowing at midnight again tonight. So everybody have an awesome week. I want to hear what y'all do, um, especially the fun with family. Um, you know, I'm telling you, the beanie, the beanie weenies were awesome. They were so awesome. So y'all have a great week and Debbie, yeah, we'll try to bring you some snow, but y'all have an awesome and amazing week and we will see you next week from Florida. Good night, everybody. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to subscribe if you're watching this later on YouTube. Thanks. Good night.